Section 96 of 15,000 Useful Phrases by Grenville Kleiser. Read for LibriVox.org by Ken Crooker. On the web at KenCrooker.com. Absolutely vulgarized by too perpetual a parroting. Absorbed in a stream of thoughts and reminiscences. Absorbed in the scent and murmur of the night. Accidents which perpetually deflect our vagrant attention. Across the gulf of years. Administering a little deft though veiled castigation. Affected an ironic incredulity. Affecting a tone of gaiety. After a first moment of reluctance. After an eternity of resolutions, doubts, and indecisions. Aghast at his own helplessness. Agitated and enthralled by daydreams. Agitated with violent and contending emotions. Alien paths and irrelevant junketings. All embrowned and mossed with age. All her gift of serene immobility brought into play. All hope of discreet reticence was ripped to shreds. All the lesser lights paled into insignificance. All the magic of youth and joy of life was there. All the place is peopled with sweet airs. All the sky was mother of pearl and tender. All the unknown of the night and of the universe was pressing upon him. All the world was flooded with a soft golden light. All was a vague jumble of chaotic impressions. All was incomprehensible. All was instinctive and spontaneous. Aloof from the motley throng. Ambition shivered into fragments. Amid distress and humiliation... Amid the direful calamities of the time, an acute note of distress in her voice, an agreeably grave vacuity, an air half quizzical and half deferential, an air of affected civility, an air of being meticulously explicit, an air of inimitable scrutinizing superb impertinence, an air of stern, deep, and irredeemable gloom hung over and pervaded all, an air of uncanny familiarity, an air which was distinctly critical, an almost pathetic appearance of ephemeral fragility, an almost riotous prodigality of energy, an answering glow of gratitude, an antagonist worth her steel, an artful stroke of policy, an assumption of hostile intent, an assurance of good nature that forestalled hostility, an atmosphere of extraordinary languor, an atmosphere thick with flattery and toadyism, an attack of peculiar virulence and malevolence, an audacious challenge of ridicule, an avidity that bespoke at once the restlessness and the genius of her mind, an awe crept over me, an eager and thirsty ear, an easy prey to the powers of folly, an effusive air of welcome, an equal degree of well-bred, worldly cynicism. An erect, martial, majestic, and imposing personage. An eternity of silence oppressed him. An expression of mildly humorous surprise. An expression of rare and inexplicable personal energy. An exquisite perception of things beautiful and rare. An iciness, a sinking, 
a sickening of the heart. An ignoring eye, an impenetrable screen of foliage, an impersonal and slightly ironic interest, an impervious beckoning motion, an inarticulate echo of his longing, an increased gentleness of aspect, an incursion of the loud, the vulgar, and meretricious, an inexplicable and uselessly cruel caprice of fate, an inexpressible fervor of serenity, an ingratiating, awkward, and wistful grace, an inspired ray was in his eyes, an instant she stared unbelievingly, an intense, an insatiable hunger for light and truth, an intense travail of mind, an obscure thrill of alarm, an odd little air of penitent self-depreciation, an open wit and recklessness of bearing, an oppressive sense of strange sweet odor, an optimistic after-dinner mood, an overburdening sense of the inexpressible, an uncomfortable premonition of fear, an unfailing sweetness and unerring perception, an unpleasant and heavy sensation sat at his heart, an unredeemed dreariness of thought, an unsuspected moral obtuseness, an utter depression of soul, and day peers forth with her blank eyes. And what is all this pother about? Animated by noble pride, anticipation painted the world in rows, appalled in speechless disgust, appealing to the urgent temper of youth, apprehensive solicitude about the future, ardent words of admiration, armed all over with subtle antagonisms, artless and unquestioning devotion, as if smitten by a sudden spasm, as the long train sweeps away into the golden distance, August and imperial names in the kingdom of thought, awaiting his summons to the eternal silence. End of section 96. This recording is in the public domain. Recorded in April of 2007 in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley.